You want to talk about a movie that gets you right here in the throat, that feeling just comes over you where you don't want to cry, you don't know exactly why you're crying, but the emotions are triggered, then you want to check out All the Bright Places. This 2020 film came out on Netflix starring Elle Fanning, Justice Smith, listen, Alexandra Ship. It was a movie where it was just like this feel good based on a New York Times bestseller book. You're sitting in it, you're falling in love with the characters, getting to know them, loving them, rooting for them, wanting to see more, learn more. And I'm a, I'm a writer and I love writing, I love words. And so maybe I'm a little biased to the quality of the movie, but I enjoyed it because I'm that kind of person. But when it comes to grief and loss, which is why I'm here, I wanna talk about movies that show grief on the big screen. As a grief bully, that's one of my main priorities and purposes in life is to continue to share awareness around grief and loss. Grief was in this movie. And that's the thing I think about the movie that got me is that I thought we were just dealing with this one level of grief and this one aspect of grief. And then uh, right when he thought it was good, it wasn't. And so I really would encourage you to check out this movie. Listen, it's super important to see our stories on the big screen and see where this is what people are going through in their real lives and especially because it was dealing with like teenagers young adults and just showing what that looks like in the perspectives of their friends i thought it was very very important to highlight those things some of my favorite parts of the movie were just the freeness in the character allowing people to be who they are and to just move through life grief loss and everything in between as they are and as they will and just how important this is probably the most important part here is how important it is to find someone, someone safe, something to hold on to in this journey and to refocus. And but knowing that you're not alone, even when you feel like it, and this is even important, even when you want to be alone, but just seeing the power of community, seeing the power of having a friend. When you're going through some of your darkest times, I think was very, very evident here. And it's something that I really enjoyed about the movie. Again, it could be a grief trigger depending on where you are in your grief journey but this movie based on a bestseller i would probably actually still read the book even though i already watched the movie that's how i think it was how well i think it was done and i would love to see more and and listen i give kudos to each and every character all of their roles that they played the actors and actresses the writers of the book the writers and producers of the movie as well I would check it out. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Netflix and grief kind of person, as you can see here. So again, check out this movie, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna to continue to bring these movies where grief shows up on a big screen, guys. Have a great one. Love and light. Peace.